I am very much not a fan of this shit. This is getting to the point where it's getting kind of annoying. But let's just, let's go. Let's go watch. Oh, so that old time rock and roll, huh? Yeah, rock and roll. Music, karaoke, everybody having a good time early in the episode. But a problematic show. Cue the mother fucking social justice. You can't get away from it, dude. You know, this is funny. This is kind of like a real conversation with people like this. How you could be talking about anything and they'll find a way to bring it back to like these social justice topics and they just won't let it drop. It's like talking to like like somebody who's like really into Jesus. You can just say good morning to them and they'll bring it up and make it about Jesus. It's, it's just kind of like what it is. They can't let it go. It's like a religion to them. Get on the internet. Yes. Stay the fuck off the internet then. See, this is true. That's actually a fact. I'm not, I'm not about to fault them for that. However, everybody knows this. Everybody acknowledges this. Like, in this current day and age, nobody will deny this. Nobody will fight you on this. Like, you can ask anybody where was rock, where was rock and roll founded. They will tell you it was in the African-American community. They will give them that credit. You're talking about the past here. It's not Rock and roll is not a problematic genre. First off, you use the word problematic. Let me... I could make a whole nother video on that, but uh, what is this? Lacey Green, 2013? Let's, let's go. Have you faced many challenges in your healing form since you've been here? What fucking challenges? He said, no, thank God. What challenges would you possibly fucking face? Many challenges. What challenges do you think they face? I'm more, I'm more offended at this little white girl thinking that just because he's black, he's going to be facing challenges. How little do you think of him? <laughs> that his life is going to be so hard now. Fucking God. Mm-hmm. My relative isolation has its It's it's not the fucking isolation, dude. It's the fact that in this day and age, there's nothing. There's nothing to challenge you. Opportunity is a hundred percent equal all across the board. Opportunity is equal across the board. There's no way around it. That's factually correct. Ay ay ay. My son, his good-hearted friends at this time on this planet. That's because there's good-hearted people on this planet. That's because like there's not as nowhere near as many hateful people as the people who run this show, whatever would like you to think. Hell, that character Alex is gay. Her life is fine. Nice apartment, nice job. Like her life is like the fuck. Like yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's because it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. They treat you like family because they see you as family. They don't think... Alex, Kara, Wynn... Nobody thinks about what, co- what color of fucking skin you are. Like, even look at Jimmy. Hell, Jimmy runs Catco now. Oh, I guess that's just one of the challenges of being a black man, huh? And having a nice job, being a CEO, making a lot of money because you had the fucking qualifications and a resume for it. You've chosen to live as a black man in America. Which is a harder existence in and of itself. It's a harder existence. Harder existence to be black in America. It's harder than anything else. Any fucking thing else. And it's hard as hell, apparently, says the white lady to the black man. Oh my god, you chose you're you're a black man in America. I couldn't imagine what it's like to be a black your life must be so hard. It's how do you do it? How do you overcome it all? Oh my god. My god. This is like thank you thank you for thank you for feeling sad for me, Alex, I guess. <laughs> And you for thinking my life is so hard. You know, I've never trivialized the experience that somebody comes across to in their life and, and throw it all on the color of their skin. Everybody goes through shit. Everybody goes through different shit. I'm not about to say my shit is harder than your shit. Whatever you go through, whatever I go through, we're, we're going through it. You know what I'm saying? And it's difficult. You know what I'm Everybody has their demons. I'm not about to try to say your demons are harder just because you're a race or a gender. That's nonsense. <laughs> Why? Why did you want to be black? It's so hard to be black. You could be anything. You could be a white man. You could be a white man and you could get a bunch of yachts and, and money and privilege and you could just have the greatest life ever. Why did you want to be a black man? Well, I, was, I was forced to become that catch out of desperation, but now I choose this face. I like it. It's a pretty damn handsome face if I do say so myself. I don't want to live in a world where I need to change the color of my skin to feel safe, to, to feel seen, to feel like he don't want to live in a world where he couldn't have his his face, his skin color, and 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 not be and and not be seen. You know what I'm saying? And and not be a target. What? 
You are safe, my nigga. You are seen. You're not a target. You're 100. What the fuck kind of statement was that? I mean, okay, clearly, I know, like, this is this is John Jones. He's a Martian, right? Cool. But you took on the form of Hank Henshaw, who, before you took his form, was the, was the head in charge of the DEO, which is an extraterrestrial government organization. Look, that nigga was getting paid. Is what I'm saying. Like he, he clearly climbed the ranks of whatever fucking ladder he was in without any well anything stopping him. Without any fucking adversity, without any roadblocks. It he did it because he had the merit, because he had the whatever. I mean Hank Henshaw's kind of an asshole, but you, you get what I'm saying. He 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 accomplished his dream and his jobs or whatever before John Jones took his form because he was able to. There was nothing stopping him. I lost the remote. And now I can't continue this fucking episode and keep I can't keep roasting it. God damn it! Here's the remote. The world don't need to be. Oh, the world doesn't need to be changed. There's a lot of things wrong with the world, but the, we're we're long past the point where there's like racial problems in America. And that, that's 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 the, the days where a bunch of fucking white people can walk down the street demanding shit in in, in packs is, is long gone, bro. Like it, <laughs> it's long gone. There's too many. There's too many. This country is too varied, too diverse. It's too much of a melting pot for that shit to hold any weight. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life, man. Whatever my son's right may be, I choose a different one. I have your backs. Of course you have their backs. I'm done with this. Of course you have their backs, man. It's like, because <laughs> you don't, because you're not a racist bitch. <laughs> None of you are. No one really is nowadays anymore. Like, and, and if they are, who gives a fuck? Nobody has the power to stop you from doing anything. Like, like you can get any job you want. You can go to any school you want, assuming you have the qualifications to get in it. And you can get any job you want, assuming you have the qualifications to get the job. You can. The bus runs every day. You can go wherever you want. You can buy a ticket. You can. You can. You can literally do what you want nothing's gonna stop you no one's gonna say hey don't use this water fountain no one's gonna say hey you can't go onto this bathroom that shit doesn't happen no one's gonna say get on the back of the boat that doesn't happen it's just not the truth it's not a it's not a good representation of reality and, 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 it's, and it's really dangerous for you guys to sit here and spread these bullshit ideologies like it's still so hard to just live in this country and be a black man because well, because you're black and it's just so much harder for you and like you can't you know I, I, I don't know how I can't explain why it's harder for you but it is because you're black I'm done with this shit bro I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm like shit irritates me I really wish you guys would stop throwing this shit in the middle of your TV shows like this is supposed to be a TV show about super heroes fighting each other and and you can't go an episode and supergirl flash well not not really an arrow or but like with supergirl on a flash and legends you, you you can't go one episode bro bring this shit up it's like it's like you ever met somebody who can't shut the fuck up about jesus like like every time you talk to them that like no matter what they say they want to make it about jesus or what or their or their religion or islam or anything that's what this is that's what this is this is a religion now i consider this shit a religion because it's it's it doesn't go away, and they don't shut up about it, and they and they, and they keep preaching to you, and they, and they keep trying to indoctrinate you into this social justice nonsense. Cute. Ugh. I need to stop watching these shows at like 1 or 2 in the morning, because they make me want to not finish the episode. <laughs> they make me want to turn this shit off. It's, it's straight cringe. I thought Make America Grot Again was cringe. Now this is straight cringe, bro. I thought that Flash Girls Night Out episode, whatever, was cringe. Now this is straight cringe. Now this, well, no, no, that Flash episode was 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 fucking terrible. Look, anyway, all I'm saying is, it's just drop this shit, bro. Like, just just go back to the superheroes punching each other. Just, just. This conversation is so forced. It didn't even flow naturally. You mean to tell me you went from talking about karaoke to about how hard it is to be black? Like, it... Listen, epic karaoke performance. Look, 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 karaoke. Oh, shit. Listen, epic karaoke performance. See, talking about fucking karaoke, talking about rock and roll. But a problematic genre. But a problematic genre. Kill yourself. This shit is so stupid. It's your boy, so if it's Hell Hydra, I'm out of here.